Hey Aquarius, welcome to the July 2019 general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Aquarius. Please keep in mind that energy is interchangeable. That means it can go vice versa. Um, this reading will also not resonate with everyone, so please don't try to make it fit your scenario if it doesn't fit. Wow, these are like stuck. Hold on one second. I've never seen it like this before. Why is it sticking? Well, it's obvious uh, some of you have been in very sticky situations uh, in your relationships or things that you have found out because I will tell you what, um, Spirit has instructed me that, and I heard it very loud and clear, this is a new season and this is a season for justice. Uh, things will be started will start to be revealed to you things possibly even many years ago things you've always wondered about things that never really made sense and you've always you know had high hopes for have kept been you know kind of put in the background maybe stuck a pin in it in your head and just kept going about your business trying to look at everything in a positive on a positive note but uh I've just kept hearing um, this is a new season. July starts the season of justice and things are going to be restored to the people that things have that important things have been taken away from them, whether it's truth, knowledge, worry, um, things are gonna start being restored. <clears throat> and spirit serious. Uh, I was also hearing that um, Aquariuses have not been treated very fairly and that the Aquariuses, especially within this last two to three years, <clears throat> have uh, tried to stick in there, help people, have been trying to hold on to the teeter-totter back and forth of everyday life and relationships um, actually giving more than they're taking back from people. So this is a big season for everyone and especially for the Aquariuses since you guys are humanitarians. Um, Spirit has a soft spot for the Aquarians this season. I'm not sure how long the season is, but no astrology, no nothing has told me but spirits. So that is coming strictly from the universe. And it's like all I saw was times up. So all of you have put in your <clears throat> put in your time and your effort and you never reaped what you sowed. People have mistreated you. Um, you had every intention with your good hearts to keep thinking of the positive light and keep looking at people in positive lights, trusting, believing, you know, getting signs from the universe to hang in there and keep going, keep the faith, and you did, and then we're just disappointed. Some people have been, the truth has been, <clears throat> been told, excuse me, um, I've been crying a lot lately, so my throat's a little dry. Sorry. Um, so, I mean, it's really intense right now. Um, all the, the truths will be revealed to you. Some have already, it's already been revealed to you. Some, it is going to come. But right now, it is, it's go time. This is very serious and all the mistreatments and the things that were done, some of you may be completely shocked or have been shocked within this last month of things that are being revealed, <clears throat> whether it be home, career, relationships, family, or romantic relationships. But things are changing. Um, also, the Two of Pentacles and the Death card kept popping out together. Okay? So, this... This was telling me that 
your season of ch your season of change is now so everything that you have been kind of keeping an even keel and kept trying to hold all these things up and you know tend to each thing making sure everything's okay uh, now it stops so just be prepared is what I'm hearing okay but it's all good for you guys it's not it's not uh, bad but it's a bit bittersweet so some things you may not like the truth you may not like what you hear but it needs to be it needs to be said it needs to be followed through thought about with your heart and assess it so that we can take those rose-colored glasses off because um, we tend to have a lot of faith in people so wow okay <clears throat> all right so we have let your friends help you so for Sun Moon Rising and Venus Aquarius and the cards are just for you guys just sticky don't want to go I mean there have been some serious sticky situations that you've been in or you've trusted this person this person um, I just heard they've been telling you all these good things and they were all lies and you're gonna some of you are gonna find out and all of a sudden it's gonna be a shock to you or some people have found out but it's gonna be like oh it's shocking but now I understand why that person said what they said now it all makes sense okay so there's gonna be things revealed to you that didn't make sense before that will now start to make sense <clears throat> All right, so we have let your friends help you in heart to heart conversations. Okay, so again, right now, um, where you guys are at is you know, yeah, your friends, there's like a couple groups here because I keep I'm hearing two different things, so I'm hearing let your friends help you, meaning you know, some of your friends have interfered. And kind of made you think things that are false that really aren't there. Um, leading you down a path of decisions that maybe wasn't the correct path for you. Then I'm hearing some that you will, this is going to be so shocking for you. You are going to confide into your friend, confide in your friends, sorry. And uh, they're, they're going to, some are good. I mean, some are going to be able to help you on the right path because... Some of you are going to need pick-me-ups for the, the truth that you hear or <clears throat> things that, you know, are now making sense. With that heart-to-heart -heart conversations comes the same thing. Thank you, Spirit. So, you know, it's going to be a lot of um, emotional understanding of situations and... Some of you, I just heard, some of you will hear it from other people as your friends or not your friends, but people that were friends with your significant other, or some are going to hear it through messages, people you don't know that could possibly be the same thing, friends of the situation, or you could know them, or they could be, you hear it from your friends, okay? Last one, again, these are like never seen them this tough all right overall energy for you guys yeah so <clears throat> we have the eight of swords so trapped in your trapped in your thoughts like this is and it's not just trapped in your thoughts like what I'm hearing right now is uh, I need to be set free this this with the two of Pentacles and death especially popping out it's like you have the energy of being done. You have been, you know, brought through the ringer. Everything has been so tough and you have held on and held on tightly and have kept going, especially with your emotions and your thoughts. Okay, so not knowing what decision to make, where to go from here, not really seeing the way out, okay? So let's see where you guys are at here. So what is Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising person, what is their person doing right now in regards to them? Alright, 
right, we have King of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Swords came out together, and Three of Cups, okay? So right now, your person, yes, something has been said, okay? Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius you're dealing with. Could be Sun, Moon, or Rising, I'm hearing. Sun, some, a lot of suns, Sun, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, and Moons. So, but some Rising, so Sun, Moon, Rising. All right, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So right now, yes, you're feeling, they, your person is feeling like the truth, what has been revealed, the, the clarity that you have found out, the, the truth that has been revealed to you has left them, um, you know, out in the cold. It has left them feeling empty, feeling like they have nothing. Then we have the Three of Cups here. Let's talk about the Three of Cups. Yeah, wanting to get back to that point, but it really is pointless. Um, wanting to get back to that stability of the Four of Wands with you. And what I don't like here is the person... Yeah, here you are, guys. So, this is what the person you're dealing with, King of Wands. And this is you guys, Queen of Swords. It's perfect. And you guys are just turning your back to the King of Wands. Like, this person is sitting here going, I don't have to do any effort. I don't have to do any work. They're crazy. They'll come around. Because what I'm hearing is, you know, they'll come back to me. Well, this is for you guys to decide. You guys are like, I've had enough. This is my sort of truth. I'm done. I've got the clarity that I need. And, you know, they're, I just don't like how they're not... I mean, he has a smug look on this face. I don't like how they're not still wanting to put any effort in. They're just kind of like, no. You know, I yes, I did do wrong. Yes, they found out now. It's almost like I just heard a sense of relief for them because, okay, it's all out in the open. Because that's all I hear is it's all out in the open. But they'll be back. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Six of Wands. So, you know, their ego, you know, I'm not feeling like, you know, oh, I'm going to be successful at this. What I'm really feeling is like ego. I'm feeling like, oh, you know, I got this. You know, everything's going to turn out my way, my direction. Okay, let's see how they feel about you. So we have, oops, sorry. All right. So we have Six of Pentacles, Justice, and the Hierophants. Okay, so how they feel about you right now is they feel like, you know, they've, they're kind of in this learning period. They feel like you are kind of seeing, looking to what is right, wanting to follow down more of the what's fair, what's traditional. Everything needs to be equal um tell me about the six of pentacles yeah it's like the fake it till you make it kind of thing like you're gonna they really feel like again they can give you little bits like little amounts they don't have to put all the effort in to reach their their wish to get to you in this your star card so it's your card too but it's just that energy of how they feel yeah like everything from your point your perspective needs to be fair it's very um cold like they feel very coldness from you there's possibly uh no speaking at the moment because this feels very cut off and cold Tell me about the Justice card. <clears throat> yeah, Justice in World Endings. So they feel like, you know, you're not going to take anything less now. This is the ending. You've, you know, things that have ended, but there's also the possibility of the new beginning. So with the world, yeah. You have the Moon card. 
with yeah but see see this is what's still hidden so again another fire sign i'm seeing a lot of fire here could be a uh, cancer pisces scorpio too or scorpio i'm i'm feeling very heavy too could be scorpio moon um but still player tendencies this person you know yeah they may fake it till they make it because that's all i'm hearing with this don't ask me why this is what spirit's telling keeps saying when i look at this these cards fake it till you make it so yeah they are gonna fake it they're gonna fake this that you know they could possibly come back to you sorry about my bandage um and you know trying to give you a new beginning you know the ending there was an ending to this obviously the truth was revealed um you guys found stuff out about them that some of you pretty horrific because i'm feeling this intense like what how, as how is this even possible so it's some of it's not even like little things it's like a big piece to the puzzle where you're like, I, how come I did not see this? I don't understand why I didn't see this before. But what's hidden is this person still thinks that they can play around and play you like a fiddle. But you're smarter than that. Aquarians are way too smart. Way too smart for their own good. In fact, so smart that they feel alone and lonely most of the times because they feel like people can't relate to them. Tell me about the hair fonts. What is this about? Tower, yeah. They see you as you're learning from this. You're learning. You do not, as an Aquarian, you do not want to take two steps forward and two steps back at, at all, ever. You always want to learn once and learn that lesson. And then the next time around, you don't, you don't even want to, you want to see it 10 steps ahead before it happens. So that it never happens again. You never get into that situation again. So let's see what kind of action your person will take towards you in the month of July. Okay, we have Eight of Pentacles, Devil, and Four of Swords. So let me clarify if what exactly they're working on, working towards. So we got the sun. Ah, here we go. So they are working on towards something, a new beginning, but they are still going to be very attached to you. I'm sorry. They, I just heard, okay, I just heard obsession. So some of them have, may have been obsessed with you in the past. They've always felt that intense connection. And it's so funny because for Aquarius, all the readings, like, it is like a magnet. You guys are always magnetized. And you, I always, I just saw two people trying to run away and they're like, they got magnets on their back and they're trying to get away from each other and they can't. And then they get frustrated when they get pulled back and they're always like, ugh. But for Aquarius, I've been seeing this a lot. There's something so strong about the connection. But, you know, the, this, this like makes them sad um so obsessed because they want this you know you have the five of swords clarifying the devil but it's it's like this person you know they they are so they want this to it's like they have to have this i just keep hearing i have to have it but my way and that's not okay Tell me about the four swords. Yeah, this person's gonna try to be figure out some of the page swords. This person's gonna try to figure out in the month of July, uh, possibly spying on you, checking um, even where you're at. Cause I just heard, you know, may follow you. Um, but they're gonna be in this mode of resting their emotions and their heart, kind of protecting themselves, but um, also spying. Because they're saddened by this not really working out. Because in the month of July, they are going to be working on, you know, detailed, you know, of getting something new uh, back with you. You know, they realize they've gotten the clarity. 
somehow they're going to get clarity on the right thing to do and what work and effort they need to put in to create this, the Ace of Wands, to create something different. I'm hearing different. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just was silent. I just heard a new way of being. A new way of being, okay? So let's get some advice for you guys. What advice do you have for Aquariuses for the month of July as they go through this? All right. All right, make sure you protect yourself. You know, fight for what you want. Keep those boundaries, okay? But don't, with the Knight of Cups here, I'm getting this feeling, don't close your heart though, okay? Be smart about it. You guys are super smart. Be smart about the decisions that you're going, you're going to be making on the right path. What fulfills you emotionally? What makes you happy? Especially with the Knight, Nine of Cups here. You know, follow, oh, that was sweet. So I just heard, um, you know, follow your happiness. So you know what to do. You know the right decision for yourself because all your um, situations are different. You'll know which path is best for you and which route to go. Um, especially with the Three of Cups and Four of Wands here, I just want to mention we have Let Your Friends Help You. That also uh, annotates letting your... You know, there's going to be something to do with people that's going to help you relieve the situation or bring clarity to the situation. So just be aware of that in the month of July. If you have not already, um, if you haven't already been told or truth hasn't been revealed to you already, I just wanted to get one message to leave you with here. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise. Oh, that's it. Okay, thank you, Spirits. For Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius. One more. Oh, two together. We have souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together. And then the more loving care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. So that's, that's perfect advice. It goes with um, what we were just talking about. So yes, a lot of you are in a soulmate situation, which you know we all know soulmate situations are really tough and hard to go through because we have to learn lessons and sometimes they provide mirrors for ourselves, things we don't like to see in ourselves, but in a different way. Because I, I just, <laughs> some of you are going to get mad right now because I just heard somebody's going to say, um, I'm not like him. Okay, so, <laughs> but you know, that's okay. It's not the same. It's just a mirror in a different way. Okay, so there's something that triggers you, could be past baggage from your childhood, things like that. Doesn't have to, doesn't mean you're exactly like that person. In fact, you guys usually are a little bit polar opposite at times. Okay, but we need to start taking care of ourselves more and focus on. Um, you know, what we need, what we want in life and to love ourselves before we can love other people. So it's time to heal all of this and keep progressing so that when our soulmate, you know, does come back or your soulmate, I don't know why I said our, your soulmate comes back, right? You will be whole. Like this cookie jar will be full once you start putting more love into yourself. And when it's full, you'll be able to give enough to that person. Okay? So it's just about learning and life lessons. And uh, trust me, Spirit's got your back. Spirit's like pro Aquarius this season. And I'm not talking about any astrology. I'm not talking about, so don't, please don't try to go to any other channel. I'm very different than any other channel. Please don't go to try to go to them and go, wait, what's in the signs? What's in the, I'm, you know, I don't go by that um, all the time. I go by spirit. 
and Spirit has announced to me that this is a season of justice. It's time for you to get back all of this that you have taken out of that cookie jar and you have given all your love to other people. There's none left for you. So it's it's a time for you guys right now. All right. All right. Well, that's your July love reading. I love you guys. Um, thank you so much for being patient. I appreciate you guys so much. Okay. And I will see you soon. All right. Have a good one. Bye.